our number 10 spot, we have the renovated floor. In one of the Reddit threads, a guy explained how once, when he was younger, he and his friend were at Portland University and the specific building they were in had only a few floors. At the time, the building was undergoing some new changes. The walls were newly painted, new rugs, and some of the floors were still undergoing these changes. They had a meeting on the third floor, so they got into the elevator and went to the third floor. They were not prepared for what they saw though. The entire floor was so dark, the door to their meeting room was locked, and there were no people in sight. They looked out the window to outside, and there was nobody around. It was completely deserted, even though five minutes prior, it was busy outside. They looked at the stairs, and everything was old, perhaps straight out of the 70s, and nothing had been renovated, unlike what they had previously seen, you know, five minutes ago. They went back into the elevator to the second floor, where there was so much hustle and bustle, and their teacher confirmed that their meeting was indeed on the third floor. They decided to take the stairs, which again, they saw were actually renovated, and when they got to the third floor, everything was the same except the floor had been renovated and there were tons of people. The boys are still convinced that they jumped through time and I'm with them. Definitely seems that way. In our number nine spot, we have the show. There is a thread where a woman's son explains an experience that she had that she can't explain. She takes the train to work every day and every day she sees a man that almost misses the train. One day he's running for the train and gets on in the last second and shoves her quite forcefully. The woman is shocked by this and gives him a dirty look as he never apologized. The man next to her asked her if she was alright. She said, yeah, and proceeded to turn around to find the man to give him a piece of her mind. But he wasn't there. He wasn't anywhere in sight. She turned to the man beside her and said, he got away quite quickly. And the man beside her looked confused. He had no idea what she was talking about. She explained to him that she was referring to the person that had just shoved her and that only seconds ago he asked her if she was alright. The man had no recollection of asking her this or seeing her being shoved. Either she stepped into another parallel universe or something's gone wrong with her mentally. Hopefully it was a parallel universe slip. In our number 8 spot we have the energy loop. This thread had me buzzing as some of the ideas presented truly can make you feel like a kid again, looking up into the stars and wondering, what the heck is life? What is it? <laughs> there is a thread where someone goes into a concept called eternal returns. A user stated, quote, the concept of eternal returns states that the entire universe as its whole will repeat and loop itself forever in the exact same identical way forever, from its start to its end, history literally repeats itself from the Big Bang to the universe's final collapse. The concept is apparently from Indian philosophy and can also be found thought about in ancient Egypt and eventually it was adapted by the Pythagoreans and the Stoics. The idea that the universe repeats itself would perhaps mean that then there are no parallel universes, but honestly it's very confusing and I'm unsure. It's definitely something I'm going to have to mull over as I drink my evening tea tonight. In our number 7 spot we have infinite realities. Another thread went deeper into the concept of infinite realities and one user in particular had me thinking that it's very possible that parallel universes exist if this were to be true. He said, we are all the same consciousness split into infinite independent pieces, experiencing every infinite slice of reality independently as every living thing in every dimension at the same time. When you screw someone over or wrong someone, you are actually going to have to experience the other side of it as well. Every killer has had to live the life of his victim, etc. Because we are all the same consciousness ultimately. Damn. I love this take on karma. As if it's just inevitable as opposed to a punishment. This definitely aligns with the concept also of yin and yang and makes the most sense to me. In our number 6 spot we have the glass of water. There is a reddit thread where a guy explains that he is very particular about his mornings. He does the same thing. He gets up, grabs a glass and fills it with water and then pours some cereal and watches Netflix in bed. He definitely gives me Sheldon vibes from the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> I bet you he has a seat that no one's allowed to sit in. And I bet you no one can touch his food either otherwise he won't eat it. On second thought that's probably a good practice to have as we just got over a pandemic. Anyways, this was a regular morning. He had a sip of his water, put it on his nightstand and started eating his breakfast in bed while watching Netflix. Anyways, he was eating away when he got thirsty and 
and went to have a sip of water when his cup was gone. He was very confused as he got up and went to the kitchen and found his cup in the cupboard. He believed that he slipped into another dimension where grabbing water in the morning isn't a part of his routine. And a lot of people seem to be here for it. Do you think he slipped into another dimension? Let us know in the comment section below. In our number five spot, we have the John Teeter thread. All right, if you clicked on this video, then I'm sure at this point you have heard all about John Teeter. John Teeter is a supposed time traveler from the year 2036 that came to the early 2000s for personal reasons, he said, and engaged in a blog thread online. People have debated his authenticity for many, many moons now with some predictions that seemingly have come true and some that did not. But one Reddit user commented something notable that I wanted to share. He said, please keep an open mind. John Teeter stated that traveling through time doesn't mean traveling linearly. But to travel, you must switch into another universe in which the time was set either in the past or future. John also mentioned that he could have already changed up the timeline just by being there and things would change either way. That would definitely explain a couple of the wars that he said would happen that haven't yet, like the Civil War of 2015. There definitely has been civil unrest and distrust in society so much recently that I wouldn't be surprised if that was a part of our time very soon, but you know, maybe just a little delayed. Hopefully not, you never know. <laughs> In our number four spot, we have the Macarena. Yes, the Macarena, that infamous 90s dance that almost everyone in the world knows that was born pre-2000. I can't speak for anyone after that. They have so many TikTok dances in their head that they may not have room for this one. A Reddit threat unveiled a very peculiar thing. Apparently, if you view the original music video for the Macarena, you would see that a few dance moves are missing and we're never there. The thread went deep into where the heck did these extra moves come from if they were never there? How did literally everyone from around the world learn some extra moves if the music video did not showcase them? This one is super freaky to me as I play back all the times I have done the Macarena at weddings and school dances and parties and it was always done with the extra arm movements. Where did they come from? Probably another universe. In our number three spot, we have the sweater. This Reddit user spoke about how she was getting ready one morning and grabbed her favorite blue sweater and put it on her dining room chair as she was grabbing a few of her things to take her dog for a walk. She went back to the chair to grab her sweater when it was gone. She felt you know, confused. She just had it and put it on her chair. Where is it? She walked around the house trying to find it. She went to the laundry room to see if she accidentally threw it in the laundry, nothing. She went to the washroom, the living room, she walked back into her room and nothing. The sweater was not there. She went to all of the rooms two more times and still nothing. The sweater just disappeared. She's convinced that it got sucked into another dimension or experienced a time slip. And honestly, I don't blame her. Either that or some ghosts are playing a trick on her. In our number two spot, we have the dimension thread. Okay, not going to lie, this thread, you know, really pulled me in. I had to read it slowly because the ideas presented in it are so hard to grasp as they are just not our current reality and it takes a minute to really understand the concept of there being other dimensions, you know, bigger than that. But what is explained is that there are in fact 10 dimensions in total and each one gets more trippier to understand. But through Googling this and learning about all 10 of the possible dimensions, you may see how it makes sense that parallel universes exist. One commenter said, I am starting to believe time really is an illusion and our past, present, and future exist at the same time, but we only experience it linearly. So it's like we can only be on one place on the timeline at any given moment, even though the rest exists elsewhere. Another reader commented, that's called experiencing this reality from a third dimensional perspective. Yeah, this convo definitely had me confused, but it sounds like it could make sense for our realities to exist at the same time. I definitely need to think this one through more, but very interesting. In our number one spot, we have the man from Torrid. Of course, there are so many threads about the infamous man from Torrid. There are also more people that have apparently popped up out of nowhere in this world, but the man from Torrid is the most popular story and 
and you know, my personal favorite. If you haven't heard this story before, essentially one day a man was traveling to Japan in July of 1954 and when he was going through customs in the Tokyo airport, the security wouldn't let him through as he had a passport from a country that did not exist. The man insisted that the country did exist and that it was called Torrid and it had existed for thousands of years. He pointed to the map where a country called Andorra exists now and insisted that his country is called Torrid but it is in the place where Andorra lies now. He was detained for a night in a hotel while the police investigated this case but when they arrived the next day to the man's hotel room, the man was gone. He had completely vanished. Some say he went through a time slip and some say that is probably just an old urban legend but as there are many stories like this that have popped up over the last while, a lot of people believe this story to be evidence of a parallel dimension. We'd love to know what you think in the comments section below. Starting off this countdown, we have the scary last footage. This footage was filmed in 2006 and features two young guys driving along a dark road at night. At one point, they decide to make a shortcut through the forest. And that's when things start to get strange. What's worse is that this is the last footage ever taken of them. It showcases their final moments as they were never seen again. After driving for a while, they decided to get out of the car and walk around the woods. That's when they hear some weird sounds in the distance. <laughs> While we never get a clear shot of this animal, it sounds like a goat or a pig. The final moments of the video show the beast chasing them as they try to get back to their car. In our ninth spot today, we have the tape glitch. So according to Joaquin Baldwin on YouTube, in 1994 he brought his Sony VHS-C camcorder with him when he went to go visit his cousins. When he went to convert the VHS footage to digital, he was completely shocked at what he found. The footage showed stuff that he had not recorded. The video starts off with what sounds like someone screaming, and continues to show weird clips that he doesn't remember. <laughs> It left him, his family, and the viewers completely confused and unsettled. In our eighth spot today, we have the creature. This is footage of what appears to be a strange creature found in a Spanish forest in 2006. The two men in the video are seen entering a forest outside of the town of Camp de Vanel at night. As they get deeper and deeper into the woods, they come across some large feathers. Eventually, they pan over to what looks like a man huddled over with an open wound on his back. Oh, so some people say that this is a fallen angel, or maybe the feathers don't have anything to do with this creature and it's like an alien or something. I don't know. Whatever it is, it is certainly very creepy. Coming in at number seven, we have the stalker footage. I found this one in the grocery store. She spent a set of amount of time picking up the finest items. I admire someone who only wants to pick up a bunch. A couple of years ago, there was a very creepy channel called Mr. Peeper. His videos were all about him filming other people with his creepy commentary going on in the back. But as of 2019, his account and all the videos were taken down. However, they are still circling around on the web. This clip features Mr. Peeper filming one of his victims. It is a miraculous thing to be able to watch the person you love undetected. I literally could not sit through this whole video. It is so eerie. Like he just finished saying that he followed this girl home and now he's already obsessed with her and in love. At one point he even manages to get inside of her home and he films it without her knowing.
that's it, I am not sleeping tonight. The scariest part is that the original uploader claimed that the segments of video found on his channel were discovered on SD cards wrapped in plastic and attached to the roof of a car that he found abandoned in the woods. Moving on to number six, we have the witch. This video starts with a man driving along a dark road in the middle of the night in India. As he's driving along, he notices something in the distance and decides to stop and watch it. In the distance, you can see a figure in a long white dress with long dark hair carrying a walking stick. Soon the figure gets closer and closer. The man is clearly scared as this thing is coming straight to him. Soon, it's too late. Many people believe that what he encountered was a real witch. Others say that the man's scream sent shivers down their spine. To this day, we don't know what happened to the man or what that figure is that he saw. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with Don't Look Behind You. In Southeast Asian mythology, a Tuyul is a spirit said to be an undead infant made from black magic. Now, they are mostly harmless, but humans can use them to do dark deeds for them. In this video, two people are playing guitar and singing, when all of a sudden, this creature appears behind them. The scariest part is that only the cameraman appears to see it. The two musicians have no clue what's going on. What do you think? Could it really be a Tuyul? Moving on to number four, we have the found footage from Texas. Now this video is nightmare fuel. Creepy music plays in the background as we see the cameraman filming what appears to be a shower curtain. And then, take a look at what happens. A pair of creepy long bony fingers slowly wrap around the shower curtain. That's not all though, it gets worse. The footage then cuts to a weird dark figure standing outside. The cameraman slowly gets closer to the figure and then it cuts away to another figure. This whole video is just comprised of random scary clips merged together. Some people have felt sick watching it. Others have gotten bad anxiety attacks and have passed out from getting so dizzy. Apparently, this footage was found in a box at an estate sale in Texas along with other pieces of junk. When the person played the tape, they were horrified. In our third spot, we have Don't Do Drugs. Now, I really didn't know what to title this video. It seems like everyone took a bunch of drugs and then decided to film a weird commercial. It is so bizarre, it has had to have come from a parallel universe. Take a look for yourself. <laughs> It goes on and on and it's quite disturbing. Now I did do some research on this video, unfortunately I was not able to figure out where it came from. So if you have any information about the video, please let me know. Anyways, this video gets so bizarre that it looks like it's trying to hypnotize you. Did I say hum? Repeat my mantra. Hum. Somebody please tell me what's going on. Was this a real commercial or a weird art project or is it from a parallel universe or all of the above? In our second spot today we have Kirby the Clown. Your dad keeps a gun in the house. Your dad's got a gun. Your dad's got a gun in the house. 
Guess who's got it now? If you have a fear of clowns, then I sincerely apologize. I can't even explain what we just saw, but it is undeniably freaky. Footage of this clown can be found on the YouTube channel Kirby the Clown. And all the videos with this clown are pretty much just disturbing, if not more. Like this one. I've got a secret, secret, secret. I've got a secret, your mom's already dead. It always features the same clip of Kirby the Clown, but the voiceover changes every time. I'm telling you, this is the definition of a cursed video. And in our number one spot today, we have Lending You a Hand. <laughs> This video starts off with the cameraman exploring a creepy old house and he is visibly scared. At one point, hands start appearing from the ceiling and they try to grab him. Then hands start appearing out of the walls and under the door to the room, all trying to get to him. The video ends with this demonic jump scare. Did it make you jump? It got me, because I was not expecting that. But how creepy is that? Imagine living in a parallel universe where arms can appear randomly and attack you. In our number 10 spot today, we have 2027. There is a TikTok user who claims to be a time traveler that actually comes from the year 2027. Of course, this isn't a time travel list, it's a parallel universe list, but don't worry, they also have TikToks that pertain to parallel universes. In fact, they claim that they are actually in a parallel universe in which there are no animals or people. He claims to have just woken up in a hospital one day, somehow left as the only sentient being on the planet. That's creepy or a dream, I guess, depending on your outlook on life. Apparently, he claims to be part of some sort of experiment where, although he comes from 2027, he is in a 2021 world completely alone. People, of course, asked for proof of this, and aside from a few shots that show empty streets and the like, he did post a clip of himself walking into a completely deserted McDonald's. There's boxes of food left on the table and a jacket draped over a nearby chair, which definitely leaves a sort of eerie feeling, like people were just in the middle of something and then they suddenly disappeared. In our number 9 spot today we have Sam's story. A TikToker who goes by the name of Sam Doll posted their parallel universe story on TikTok. She starts off by setting the scene, which was at her then boyfriend's house, for the first time. Basically she wakes up in the middle of the night to go to the washroom and this is when she sees a guy standing in her partner's room. She didn't panic and just assumed that it may be his brother who she hadn't met yet and she assumed that he was just sleepwalking. As she looked closer she realized that this man was actually actually smoking a cigarette and appeared to be in his 40s. This is when she sits up and says, hey, and just like that, the man disappears. In the end, she didn't end up waking up her boyfriend and instead told him about it the next day. To her surprise, he said that she needed to tell his mom because apparently his mom had previously reported a similar sighting. In the end, because of the fact that the two of them shared the same experience, she believes that it is possible that this man is living in that house, but in a different universe, and that perhaps there is some sort of a leak in between the two timelines, making these strange occurrences a reality. In our number eight spot today, we have the trip. A TikToker and Nashville model named Katie Rocks took to TikTok to share a really bizarre experience she had that relates back to a 2017 school trip to France. This sounds like a dream, but when it came time to leave, things went a little awry. Basically, Katie remembers distinctly flying back home from France with all of her classmates and friends, but they all claim that they missed the flight. She claims that she remembers sitting three rows behind some of her friends and that they all took a taxi back from the airport to the apartments they stayed in during their time in school, but none of her friends remember this at all. In our number 7 spot today we have the night at the apartment. This story comes from the tiktoker the gem underscore m and it has to do with the time they think that they and a friend might have accidentally shifted into some sort of parallel universe. Basically they start off by explaining that they and their roommate like to kind of run around their apartment complex in the middle of the night just 
for fun. So one night they're doing this and they went to duet a really funny TikTok in the middle of these escapades. After filming the TikTok, they go to watch it back and this is when they both stand up and look at each other super confused. Basically, they both thought that they were in a completely different location than when they stopped to watch the video. Like we're talking about a difference of like 100 to 200 feet in a completely different part of their apartment and they both had the same feeling. They were both super confused and thought that they were in the same location that it turned out they weren't actually in. In our number six spot today, we have the Master Manifester. Okay, so parallel universe TikTok is alive and well and thriving, so much so that people are now even giving tips on how to essentially time travel or jump into the reality you want to be in. A TikToker named Marianne Valenza, who calls herself a Master Manifester, can be seen on the app giving people tutorials on how to jump into your most desired timeline, and she says that in the shower is the best place to do it. She explains that the location is important because water is such a powerful conduit to the entire process. She explains that the first step is giving yourself time because it's not a process that can be rushed, which I mean, given what we were talking about, that makes a ton of sense. She goes on to say that you need to soak yourself completely in hot water while you visualize, quote, the water cleansing you so that it removes all of your limiting beliefs, the negative thoughts that you have. And if you can, quote, shampoo and lather with a strong smelling scent such as orange or cinnamon. Honestly, who knew that shifting timelines could be so easy, clean, and relaxing? In our number five spot today, we have The Shifter. Ashley Vasque is a young woman from New Jersey who took to TikTok to explain that she has been shifting for a few years. She explains that her first encounter shifting into a different reality occurred by accident when she was listening to music. Basically, she shifts herself into a sort of Harry Potter world. She said, quote, I was obsessed with Harry Potter at that point. All of a sudden, I felt extremely weird. I woke up and I swear on my life that I felt like I was at Hogwarts. It was the craziest feeling. She did her research after this and found out about the phenomenon of reality shifting and since then has begun practicing more and more and now takes to TikTok to share her tips and tricks with others. She explains that her favorite method of getting into this world is what she calls the tunnel method. This sees her lying down, closing her eyes and visualizing a tunnel in which she can see the Slytherin common room at the end of. In our number four spot today, we have the dream life. Mavi Juka is another Harry Potter world shifter whose TikTok account had about 200,000 followers. She used TikTok to explain how she used similar techniques as Ashley from before in order to achieve the appearance she wanted and also the family relationships she aspired to have. She also uses the shifting in order to head off to life at Hogwarts and she said that for every one hour that passes while she sleeps, she experiences a month at Hogwarts. She explains that she doesn't use this power she's harnessed on friends because she doesn't want those relationships to be forced. In terms of her Hogwarts life, well, things are definitely more calm there than the wizarding world we are used to seeing because she explains that Voldemort isn't a part of her Harry Potter reality. In our number three spot today, we have The Lesson. A TikToker named Mina, who goes by the username Your Soul Warrior, is helping people understand the multiverse and how how it exists. She uses an example of a simple breakfast choice, either having a smoothie or pizza for breakfast. If you choose the smoothie, your reality continues on where you chose the smoothie, but there is also a reality in which you didn't choose the smoothie, which has another you in it living life under those circumstances. A small, inconsequential example that shows the complexity of parallel universes. She even took to TikTok to answer a really common question. Basically, it's the question of having a vivid memory from your childhood, but your parents swear that it never actually happened. Mina had an answer for this when she explained that this sort of thing is likely because you are pulling from another timeline and just don't realize it. She goes on to say that all of these timelines are running parallel to each other and to completion. It certainly is an interesting point of view on something that is actually quite a common experience. In our number two spot today, we have the afterlife. Okay, so basically the premise or the idea or theory that this TikToker has come up with basically relates to what they believe happens after a person passes away. Her name is Jolie and she describes herself as a philosophical artist. She boasts thousands of followers who she shares her 
your theories with, and one of the most controversial that relates to this video is the theory that we never actually die and instead are just transferred into another universe, sort of like a cosmic reincarnation. She basically explains what is called the quantum immortality theory. She explains, quote, if you're hoping that apocalypse is going to bring you that sweet, sweet relief, I'm sorry to burst your bubble. Quantum immortality theory suggests that nobody ever actually dies, that consciousness never experiences death. It's definitely an interesting theory and one that I mean, I have no way of either proving or disproving, so how about you guys let me know what you think of this one in the comments. Are we on board? In our number one spot today, we have the night out. This story comes from a TikToker who is responding to another TikTok that asked users to share their parallel universe stories. Basically, she starts off by explaining that she was driving with this guy that she was dating after a night out. She looked down at her phone at one point to change the song, and when she looked back up, traffic was suddenly at a complete standstill. The car they were in was going 70 miles per hour, and they were just seconds away from rear-ending the car in front of them. She just closed her eyes and braced for the impact she was sure was about to come, but when she opened her eyes, she was instead on the freeway, no traffic in sight, everything was fine. She looked over at the guy expecting him to be absolutely shook like she was, but he was just chilling and totally fine like nothing at all happened. So this is all weird, but to make things even weirder, after this night, the guy she was with, she never saw him again, his number was gone, she couldn't find anything to do with him. Like it was as if he never existed at all. She is left with no answers as to what could have happened here, either in the car or with this guy. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have the infinite versions of our universe. Okay. Let's start off at the beginning. Well, the beginning of what is our observable universe, which was the Big Bang that happened 13.8 billion years ago. This is when our observable universe was born, which is finite, but the universe itself, which our universe is a small part of, is infinite and could have been born infinite. Since we can put a timeline on when our universe came into existence, which is that 13.8 billion years we just talked about, we can place a timeline on the things in our own universe. Everything in our universe is finite, but beyond our universe and the stars and galaxies and matter and all of that sciencey stuff is the universe, which would lead us to believe that there are many more infinite universes that are just like our own, but that are beyond our knowledge because of the fact that the speed of light as well as the beginning of ours, the Big Bang, is finite. If there is an infinite amount of universe out there, then it only seems reasonable to believe that the same sort of creation of our finite universe happened an infinite amount of times. In our number nine spot today, we have infinite universes. Piggybacking off of that last point, we have the fact that there just might be even more universes. Like, not just more of our kind of universe, but more of the universe. The Big Bang started off our universe, but it was not the beginning of everything. The Big Bang, which we all know happened when? 13.8 billion years ago, was the first time the universe could be described as hot, dense, and full of matter, and antimatter, and radiation, and all of that. But there was stuff going on before that happened. Prior to the Big Bang, there was a period of cosmic inflation. This inflation leads to the growing of space-time, and this means that if that period occurred for an infinite amount of time, there could be an infinite amount of universes that are all finite, and one of these universes happens to contain ours. Does that make sense? This video really is all a person needs to feel exceptionally small and very insignificant. In our number eight spot today, we have daughter universes. Before I dive into this one, guys, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you're enjoying the video so far. Let's try and make this the universe where this video has the most likes. Let's do it. This one is just a theory about if there are multiple parallel universes that exist and what they contain. This is where the theory of daughter universes comes into play. It is possible that multiple universes may follow the theory of quantum mechanics, which is how subatomic particles behave. Following the laws of probability, the daughter universes happen when you are faced with a decision. In our reality, you make your decision and it plays out one way, but in the daughter universes, 
they would each involve you making every other decision you could have made in that moment, which would then lead to whatever outcome that decision would have ended up leading to. This just means that there may be a universe for the opposite of every decision you've ever made in your life, and one for every decision anyone has ever made. How likely is this? I'm not sure, but if we ever find a way to jump to other universes, there goes the days of regret. In our number seven spot today, we have bubble universes. For this one, we need to imagine our universe as a bubble, which it kind of is. The swelling bubble of our universe is just one bubble among many. Well, as we all now know, it is possibly just one among an infinite amount, all of which are swelling and expanding. All these bubbles make up the multiverse. This itself is of course just a theory that was made in an attempt to understand the origins and beginnings of our universe, but now it is being researched further. Physicists have begun studies on how and when universes might collide and bubble up together. I do understand that this is not concrete proof or evidence, but we wouldn't be researching it if it wasn't a possibility. This research could potentially lead us in the direction where we get to see some real proof, or at the very least, give us a better understanding into the theories of how multiple universes exist and how they could potentially interact with one another. In our number six spot today, we have the lack of evidence. This evidence is more so about the lack of evidence there is to say that the multiverse doesn't exist. Many scientists find the idea of the multiverse alarming or even unscientific because of the fact that there's no way for us to test for it. There is no way to make predictions that fall in line with data and no way to really verify its existence, whether it's one parallel universe or an infinite amount. But there isn't really any evidence or data to support the theory that we are the only universe that exists. If our universe was created basically out of happenstance, what could stop another universe from being created at the same time or out of a similar happenstance? The idea and theory of the multiverse itself is relatively quite young and new, so it is possible that we will find the evidence to persuade most of us to one side or another, but as of right now, anything is possible. And maybe in another parallel universe, we already know all about the existence of this one. Maybe there's another me watching me make this video being like, oh, you don't know anything. In our number five spot today, we have the cold spot. The cold spot was first discovered in 2004, and it is basically just what it sounds like. It's an area in the universe that is slightly colder than that surrounding it. And when I say slightly, I really do mean very slightly. But when I call it an area, I'm talking about a huge one as it is around 1.8 billion light years across. It was first believed that this area may be colder due to a lack of galaxies, but a newer study suggested that that is not possible, which led researchers down a different path in search of new theories as to why the cold spot exists. One of the most exciting is the theory that this may have occurred due to a collision between our universe and another bubble universe. A bubble universe is what we just spoke about in the last part and they make up the multiverse, which would be the uncountable realms that all sit side by side, but that are in higher dimensions than our senses are able to interpret. This of course is a theory and it will require a lot of time and research before we can say for certain, but it truly is kind of crazy to think that a huge colder area of the universe could be due to a bump in with another universe entirely. In our number four spot today, we have the CMB. After the Big Bang, it took around 300,000 years for things to cool down enough in order to allow atoms to form and to allow light to travel freely. This was known as the recombination, and during this time, that is when the cosmic microwave background began. The CMB is electromagnetic radiation that fills all of space, and while the space in between stars and planets and such may seem to be completely dark, the CMB is there and can sometimes, through sensitive enough technology, be seen as a kind of glow. So, how how does this play into what we're talking about today? Well, scientists noticed a sort of bruise on the CMB during research, which left them wondering why. This is what led to this next parallel universe theory. If our universes are all like bubbles and one bumps into the other, it's possible that they may merge even just for a second. This could cause some parts of one universe to spill into the other before eventually parting ways again, but this collision surely would leave some sort of a mark. And that mark just may be the bruise we saw in the CMB. In our number three spot today, we have the CMB part two. So you know what the CMB is now, and there's another thing we are looking for in it that might give us a sign of the multiverse. We thought we found evidence of this back in 2014, but it may have been a false detection, 
but we continue to look. Gravitational waves, which are ripples in space and time, are what we are looking for right now. The waves would have been left over from the Big Bang, and they could be putting tiny curls into the CMB. If found, this would prove the theory of cosmic inflation, which we discussed close to the beginning of this video in number 9, which would then lead us to the creation of multiple universes. It's all linked together in the most insane ways, but the universe is very cool and very complex. In our number 2 spot today, we have the Mandela Effect. So, thinking about what we just talked about with the bruise and the CMB, and if our bubble universes really did collide with some other universe, and they had a moment where they may have been interconnected in some way, then this would explain the Mandela Effect. If you don't know, the Mandela Effect began being widely recognized when people began to swear that they could remember Nelson Mandela passing away in the 1980s. This is of course weird, since he actually passed away in 2013. This time discrepancy had people obviously confused, and it has happened with many other things such as the Berenstein Bears, the movie Kazam, and honestly a whole bunch of things. There are many theories as to why the Mandela Effect happens, and one of them certainly is the belief in multiple universes and some sort of crossover happening between the two. This coupled with the possibility of colliding universes is hard to comprehend, but it does kind of make sense. In our number one spot today, we have the strange particle. This might be the most concrete evidence, but we still don't really know what it means. This evidence came to us originally in 2016, but it took a few years for it to be interpreted in the way that might suggest the potential of a parallel universe. During experiments and research in the Antarctic, researchers captured what seemed to be the signal of a high energy particle. This would be all well and fine, except for the fact that instead of coming down from above, this particle seemed to be exploding out of the ground. Despite multiple attempts to explain why the signal was appearing this way, scientists were left with not a lot of options, and one of those has to do with the fact that this strange particle just may be proof of another parallel universe that is both exceptionally similar, but also the complete opposite of our own. In order to explain this particle, there would need to be the existence of another universe that was created during the same Big Bang that created our own and exists in parallel with ours. But this universe would have to be a mirror of our own, where left is right and right is left and positive is negative and time runs backwards. It's both the most simple and most complex idea that all started with one tiny strange particle. Kicking off the list at number 10, Katie Rocks. You ever hop in the shower first thing in the morning and it feels like literal paradise? Otherworldly, some would say. Well, a new TikTok trend has me meditating in the shower now. Apparently, here we go. TikTok users left, right, and center are stepping forward, or rather backwards, with their claims on entering parallel universes. Nashville model Katie Rocks recently kicked this off, and she used the social media platform to recall a 2017 trip to Paris that some of her classmates claimed missed the flight, although Katie saw them with her own eyes. I remember walking on that aircraft past two of my friends and sitting like three rows behind them. Then the four of us took a taxi back to the apartments we were staying in while we were in school and I distinctly remember this. Two days later they're talking about how they weren't three rows in front of us and to this day I have no idea why they remember missing the flight. That's way too close to the plot of Final Destination. Honestly this creeps me out just reading about it. I can't even begin to unravel this one. No way. The same user, Katie Rocks, posted again a month later. This time saying she's since discovered the ability to shift realities. Showers. Hot showers are the key, apparently. I would have guessed baths, but showers are cool too. We'll, we'll take those. Number nine, a familiar face. Username High Life No Miller Light posted this one a couple months back on Reddit. Great name also, gotta, gotta say, that's a really good name. It's since got a lot of attention, uh, let me know what you think. They say, I'm from a very dry, hot state in the US, and I was visiting California on a trip with my wife. While out eating, we both witnessed a person that looked exactly like me. Same typical mid fade and head dents inherited from my father, same body type, only chubby rather than my more slim and athletic frame. I saw the side profile from the back as they walked away from view and it was my exact face. That's so creepy. My wife had a direct view but could not remember directly what my face looked like. But she noted similarities from my body to head and even the way that I walked. I couldn't believe what we saw. Any thoughts? Question mark? I mean, if you didn't mention the head dents and got that specific, this wouldn't have stuck with me like it did. I also love the subtle roast on the other you. You're like, yeah, this guy was just like me, only, you know, not ripped. Otherwise, that's quite creepy. 
Libby, thanks for sharing. Number eight, Quantum Leap. So yeah, I went down that rabbit hole I talked about and I discovered another TikTok. How fun, we love these, awesome. This Quantum Leap was obtained by Marion Belenza. She took to the social media platform to implore others to take the leap. You know, no more manifestation Mondays. The key to these Quantum Leaps is a hot shower. Yeah, a hot shower, how convenient is that? Thank God it doesn't suck, you know? Thank God it's not a cold ice bath or else no one would know. Belenza explains the first rule here. Number one is that you wanna give yourself enough time because you don't wanna rush this, obviously. You wanna do this with intentionality, she says. Yeah, sorry I'm late boss, I don't wanna rush my hot quantum shower. You know how it is. He's like, oh yeah, classic. Next step is to literally visualize the water cleansing you so that it removes all your limiting beliefs, the negative thoughts that you have, all the things holding you back from stepping into your higher self. Visualize not currently being late for work. And then there you go, you're set. I'm gonna try this tomorrow morning. I'm just gonna have a hot quantum shower and arrive at 10.15. Number seven, Sleep Street. This one comes from username Oopsies. It's like Oopsies, but with a bit more O. Oh. Reoccurring dreams have never been so haunting. Forgot, it's a dark list. Here we go. Ever since I was a teenager, I've dreamed about an alternate life where I go to university and work in a city that I've never been in. It started around when I was 16 or 17 and now I'm 25. It's super detailed where I go on hikes, I hang out with friends, I bike through neighborhoods and do mundane everyday life things. The university is outside of a major city and I'm always exploring nature, beaches, islands, all that jazz. Last night I was feeling sick and in return had one of the most vivid dreams I've had in a long time. I met someone and developed a deep relationship that felt incredibly emotional and real. Luckily I woke up right when I was trying to navigate Google Maps to drive to a park so I remember the streets that we were on. The street was called Dutch Island Road. I never heard of it in real life so I decided to look it up. The only thing that popped up was a rural area in Rhode Island. It wasn't exactly the same layout of the roads I remember on the map but the nature and area looked eerily similar to what I saw while driving. I start looking around the area, clicking different locations, and I start to freak out on how everything looks just like in my dream. Mind you, I've never been to Rhode Island, but the weirdest part is that specific buildings in the Rhode Island University and Warwick area ones, those are the same ones that I saw in my dream all the time. I've always thought that my dreams are a glimpse of living an alternate universe, and I feel like this detail solidifies the potentiality of it being a reality. Thoughts? Uh, too many big words. Those are my thoughts. Potentiality, potentiality. I'm gonna start using that in the next list. You'll hear that from me in the future, for sure. Otherwise, so scary. Hope that goes away. Or doesn't? I don't know. Do you like it? I, would, I wouldn't like that. If I dreamt about an alternate life, I'm like, yeah, I actually have two jobs. It's exhausting. I never sleep. Number six, good times, dad times. Coming from Reddit user ApprehensiveHumor55, they say, when I was young, from the ages of around three to 10, I was truly convinced I'd already lived a full life. I remember being around 40 years old with a wife and three kids, two boys and a girl. Then one day I just woke up as a child and my past was all just a big blur with random memories that would come to me here or there. I'm smiling because this is funny, but like it's so scary. This is my biggest fear, I think, in life. It made no sense. My parents said that I used to tell stories about when I was a dad, and they would just laugh it off and be like, oh, that's, that's your imagination, obviously. But deep down, I genuinely did have these strange memories of a past life. For instance, when I was four years old, my family went to Disney World, and the whole car ride down, I was telling stories about when I was a dad, and I went to Disney World. <laughs> just a kid in the back seat with milk, like, oh yeah, these roads. Still haven't fixed them. <laughs> The weirdest thing is that when we got to Disney World, I knew that I'd already been there before. I knew where everything in the park was and was essentially showing my family everything. At that time, my family just thought it was weird that I knew where everything was, but at the time in my head, it all made sense. To me, I just knew where all the rides were because of when I was a dad. After a while, I stopped telling these stories of when I was a dad because my siblings would always make fun of me for it. I'm not laughing at you, I'm laughing, this is my worst, you, you, I'm laughing at you a little bit, this is crazy. Eventually, I just started going on with my life and haven't thought about much of it since, although I wish I did, because the memories back then were much more vivid and real than how they are now. He's gonna be so confusing, 30 years to his kids, he's like, ah, oh, when I was a dad for the first time, Disney was way less busy. Kids are like, first time? What other family? What are you talking about? Why is mom crying? That's so scary. Um, I buy into this. I don't know, the afterlife, maybe that past dad died and then you were reborn? I don't know, that's scary, I don't wanna think of it. Number five, spirit animal. Do you believe in spirit animals? I kinda do, I want to at least. Ever since I watched Harry Potter, I always wanted a Patronus. Mine would be a frog for sure, it'd be like a little, little, little lanky frog. Wouldn't be cool at all. This next one makes me want to believe. Coming from user Less Cold, they say, about 30 years ago, I was a young college student heading back to college after break in an overnight bus. I was about 19, didn't drink or anything, had no history of 
with mental illness and was reading a book when seamlessly I wasn't in the bus anymore. I was now swimming around a rock formation which I knew was part of my hunting territory and was chasing a fish, which I then caught in my mouth and could feel the bones crushing between my teeth and it wriggling against my whiskers. That's how they posted it. No, in between, they're just like, yeah, I was reading a book and all of a sudden, I'm a fish. I was totally at ease. I was fast and agile and I could feel the drag of the water, like, you know, the pull of the current, question mark. I like how they included that, mansplaining the current of the water. They're like, I being a fish know this, but do you know about this? I'm like, yeah, we know about currents, man. <sighs> I'll continue. As I moved effortlessly through it, I knew my body and where I was going and what I was doing and there was no alarm whatsoever that anything was amiss. You know, I didn't realize that I was really a 19 year old on a bus. The whole experience couldn't have lasted longer than 30 seconds or so and then just as seamlessly as I once was there, I was then again back on the bus. I remember sitting there for a second staring at the page of my book before, you know, having a WTF just happened reaction kicked in and then I had a bit of a mental freak out. Then a few years later I saw a documentary about sea otters and I knew then that that's what I had been for that brief moment in time. I knew it's impossible but it happened to me and surely I can't be the only one. I don't know man, I've never been a sea otter before. Chris, have you been a sea otter? You don't think so. You don't think. You never know. Never say never though. Has anybody ever heard of something like this or have, has it happened to you? Have you been reading a book and then all of a sudden you're a sea otter eating a fish with whiskers? If so, sound off down below. Sea otters are just smacking the keyboard. They're like, help, help me switch back. Number four, switching universes. Coming from Mulks23, this one is so specific that it may very well just be real. Honestly, I'm a little convinced. I've been wanting to share this for some time now. A few months ago, one morning, I believe when I woke up, I did so to a different universe. Similar to ours, but different in some aspects. Before I went to sleep the night before, I kept my Surface tablet on my nightstand and it was absolutely fine. The next day when I opened it though, I could see a large crack across the top. There's nothing, repeat nothing, that could have caused the crack. I was disappointed, of course, the tablet's new, but I didn't think much of it. However, over the course of the following days, I noticed some things slash events are significantly different than how I remember them to be. An actress that I know was married to a gangster is happily now married to a businessman. A different actress married said gangster, a name that I would have definitely known. I'm from India and I settled in US and this is a Bollywood actress in question. A series that was being released on Amazon Prime is now on Netflix, question mark. Yeah, that happens all the time. I'm still asking those questions myself. I'm watching Harry Potter on like three different platforms. Like what's going on? The movie Morbius, I've seen this movie. I thought they must have remade this or something, but nope, it was a new movie. A few other things as well, but those I can attribute to misplaced memories. Not the above though. Also, I definitely did not hit my head or anything which could have caused me to remember things differently. I mean, after all of that, I gotta ask, how is Morbius? It doesn't look that bad, honestly. Hope Spider-Man's in it. Thanks for sharing, Mulks23. Hopefully you're in the right universe. Number three, Cosmic Commute. This one has me stumped, folks, I'm not gonna lie. Username IcyFlame to you says, in January, I left my friend's home at almost midnight. I live not even 10 minutes north of her. I remember getting in my car and then boom, I'm pulled over by the police. It's 2.10 a.m. now and I'm one hour north of her, close to crossing state lines. In a city I have never been to, I don't even know how to get out there and what freeways I took as we are not really close to any freeways. How did I get there and what happened to a whole extra hour? When I returned home, I was having such anxiety from it all that I was throwing up and everything. We just don't understand what happened. The comments were supportive here. Some suggest to look into epilepsy, but the OP responded right after saying that they did. And luckily that wasn't the case. So what do you guys think it is? Comment down below. I think definitely a time leap. That's pretty crazy. Number two, dog treats and universe leaps. Anything involving dogs, I buy into it. I mean, who would lie about dogs for attention, right? Only psychos, I guess. Username meman42069 says, when I was getting ready to go to my brother's house, I packed some stuff for my dog since he was coming. I put my dog's toys, leash, two dog shirts, and treats. I packed them all up. And when I got to my brother's house, I was looking for my dog's treats and my dog's treats were not there. I vividly remember putting my dog's treats in a bag. And the weird thing was when I got home, his treats were in the exact spots that I picked it up from and it didn't fall out of the bag and somebody didn't put it back because I live alone. So I was thinking maybe I slipped into a parallel universe where I didn't pack my dog treats. I've been weirded out by it for the past year and I've been trying to come up with a better reason. I mean, that sounds alarming 100%, but panicking about anything that involves dog treats, it's just hilarious to me, sorry. Yeah, I hope you figure out your problem, but more importantly, I hope your dog doesn't get stiffed on treats again. And finally, number one, 2016 again. This one caught my attention, it caught it real, real bad. Posted five days ago by user Silence v Silence, they say, the universe is currently shifting and it has been the past few days. The last time a change took place like this was November 2016-ish. Some of you already know this. I'm sure you felt it in the air over the past week like I have. It feels positive. I hope it is. First comment has tons of upvotes here and it says, your ears ringing real bad too? Question mark. This is insane because my ears have been ringing a lot in the past month. I mentioned it to Olivia, swear to God. Are your ears ringing? 
I don't know, what universe are we in? Do we want a part two of this list? Hit that thumbs up if so. Coming up at our number 10 spot, we have cosmic inflation. The first half of this list is gonna be some scientific explanations for parallel universes, but don't worry, the science won't get that complicated because then I wouldn't be able to understand it either. <laughs> first, let's start off by talking about the theory of eternal inflation. This is the idea that ever since the Big Bang, the universe has been rapidly expanding or inflating, and different parts of the universe have been inflating at different rates. This means that there are some sections of the universe that haven't really connected up with the rest, yet creating a sort of bubble universe. While our own universe has inflated enough to breed galaxies and stars and, and physics and science and whatever else, these other bubble universes are still in the process of creation. They have the potential to be the exact same two hours, or completely different from ours. Or maybe there is a you in one bubble universe that didn't get that bad haircut that you still really regret. One time, my mom cut my hair like Marilyn Monroe. It was brutal. Coming up in our number nine spot, we have mathematical constants. Similar to that theory is the fact that everything in our known universe can be explained with mathematical equations. Think the Pythagorean theorem. Scientists know that the structure of our universe can be broken down into our mathematical structure. Math, that is, as they call it, without human baggage. They believe that because of this, it is entirely possible to hypothesize that there are other universes out there that are based around different mathematical structures, each universe having their own laws and rules based off of the structure. So infinite mathematical structures means infinite universes, some being just slightly different and some being totally, completely different. Coming up in our number eight spot, we have backwards universe. Two years ago, in in 2020, NASA discovered what they believe is evidence of a parallel universe, one that is more than a little bit different to ours. Their team called Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, or ANITA, had been working on an experiment in, of course, Antarctica for a few years. A so-called cosmic ray detection experiment reportedly found particles that seemed to come from another universe, one that was also created when the Big Bang took place. While this evidence alone is pretty astounding, they also discovered that the particles appear to be moving in reverse, leading them to believe that they had found evidence of a parallel universe where time moves backwards. While parallel universes are often just the work of science fiction and movies, we may be closer to finding the truth of the situation than we originally thought. In our number seven spot today, we have observable universe. Now let's talk about what scientists believe about the shape of space. In your head, maybe you imagine a big sphere or even some sort of donut, but most likely it's actually flat. And it stretches out infinitely, like forever, never ending. And if it goes on forever, then at some point it has to start repeating because there is a finite number of ways that particles can be arranged within space and time. So if you looked far enough, you would eventually find another version of you, maybe wearing a different shirt or eating something different for breakfast. Maybe a version of you that didn't watch this far in the video, but hey, we like this version of you better anyways. <laughs> Unfortunately, it would be pretty hard to actually see this far down the universe because our observable universe only extends 13.7 billion light years. This being the amount of time light has had to travel since the Big Bang. So you can consider the space beyond our observable universe to be its own sort of separate universe, one that we just can't see yet and probably won't for a long time, if ever. In our number six spot, we have time travel. Think about time travel for a second. Maybe you thought of Back to the Future. The concept of this movie is that if you go back in time and change one small thing, it can completely alter the future. Some scientists believe that time travel is a definite possibility in our future. So if it is, why haven't we seen anybody come back yet? And have they been screwing around and messing things up? Well, it's theorized that due to the way they would alter the universe, when time travel travelers go back in time, they actually create their own separate universe where things change. A parallel universe that works to include them in it. That would explain why we have never seen any real evidence of time travelers coming back to our current time, or even any point in the past. Because they did not travel back in time in our universe, but instead to their own unique one. Am I melting your brain yet? Let's move on to some simpler stuff. 
In our number five spot, we have different life. For the second half of our list, we are going to be stepping away from science and taking a look at some people's stories of their experiences with glitches in the matrix that may lend evidence to there being parallel or multiple universes. One day, a man was in his house when he became overcome with the urge to go outside and stand on his lawn. For a moment, he said he had the clearest feeling ever before he felt a slight wobble and everything began feeling slightly distorted. When it was over and he turned to go back inside, he saw his car in the driveway, the same make and model, but a different colored car. Car. But that wasn't the only thing that was different. When he saw his wife, he said that she definitely looked like his wife, but he just had this feeling that she was different. He also started having memories that weren't his and seeing buildings that, you know, there was no way he could have never noticed in his time living there. Entire departments from his work no longer existing. Is it possible this man jumped to a parallel universe where his life was only slightly different? Maybe. In our number four spot, we have wrong memory. This one is a story of a false memory, seeming like an intense version of the Mandela effect. The Mandela effect being when a large group of people all share a false memory of something, which we mentioned in detail on the previous list. This person says that they vividly remember someone they know dying in a car accident, texting and driving and going off an exit ramp that was still under construction. They remember themselves and their family and friends attending the funeral and everyone in their small town talking about it for weeks. Skip to 10 years later, even the person's fiance knew about it and knew the person's name because of how many times they had told the story. One day their fiance is looking at their sister's Facebook page and says, hey, isn't that the girl who died? The person came over to look and it turns out that it was. Apparently also no one in the town after this incident had any memory of the car accident or the funeral that took place afterwards. So did this person potentially have a memory from a parallel universe where the accident had taken place? It's possible. Coming up in our number three spot, we have disembodied voice. People who believe strongly in multiverses and parallel universes usually believe that there are some places and occasions where the gaps between our universes are thinner and it is easier for things to cross over or for the universes to communicate with each other. This story seems like one of those moments where the barrier was thin. When this person was around the age of 10, they were going to the beach with their aunt and friends when they were divided between two different cars. One of the cars didn't know the directions, so they were following behind the other car. When Suddenly, it took a sharp turn and they had to follow and do the same, going around a very sharp bend. Suddenly, they all heard a very loud, clear voice in the car saying, sharp bend, hmm? The driver of the car hit the brakes as they all looked at each other confused, confirming there was no one else in the car that had said that. There wasn't even anyone close by outside the car who could have said it. So maybe it was someone managing to speak through the thin barrier between the universes, or was it a ghost? You decide. In our number two spot, we have the motorcycle crash. Sometimes people experience situations where the impossible seems to happen and maybe it is impossible, but only in our current universe. This person told their story of a death defying crash. Six years ago, they were riding through town on a motorcycle going about 45 miles per hour. Suddenly a woman who hadn't seen them turned left out in front of them. And despite the short amount of time, they remembered thinking about their options, whether they should go over or under the car. They laid the bike down and slid underneath the car diagonally. They slid across the pavement, no helmet, no jacket, just jeans and a hoodie. They slid about 80 feet before they stopped and were then able to stand up. No injuries, except a hole in their sweater, their bike having been completely mangled and torn apart. They knew that there was no way that they should have survived the crash, but somehow they did. A potential glitch in the matrix of the universe? Possibly. In our number one spot, we have takeout. Have you ever heard of Schrodinger's cat? Me either. <laughs> the idea that if you put a cat inside a box with a bottle of poison, the cat is in a state of being both living and dead until you open the box and find out. Well, it turns out that you know the food you ordered last night, your takeout, is also in a state of being your order and not your order until you open it up and find out. A man and his friend 
friend went to a Chinese restaurant where they ordered a chicken dinner and a shrimp dinner. When they received their boxes and opened them both, they realized that they had received two shrimp dinners. No big deal, just a mix up. So they close the boxes and get ready to go ask for a replacement. But before they do, the friend opens the first box again and instead of the shrimp dinner they had clearly seen before, it was now a chicken dinner, what they had originally ordered. They knew what they had both clearly seen. Was it possible that for a few seconds they had received their lunch from a parallel universe where they had ordered something else? Maybe. Number 10, the London Hammer. Many times in history, people have found objects that they think could be evidence of a parallel universe intersecting with our own. Those thoughts were raised again when in 1936, a hammer was found in London, Texas. While on a walk, a couple found a hammer that looked like ones that had been used in the late 1800s. So cool, they found an old hammer. Well, there's actually much more to it. The hammer had not rusted at all and still hasn't since it's been found, and it was also found encased in rock that dated back to the Cretaceous period. For those of you who don't know, that's around 100 million years ago. This is obviously weird because most people agree that humans only started popping up around 200,000 years ago. So how could this hammer have come to exist? Some people believe that it's the remnant of a parallel universe where humans developed long before they did on our Earth, or that it had potentially traveled back in time. If you live in Texas and want to check out this infamous hammer for yourself, you can find it at Carl Bowes Creation Evidence Museum in Glen Rose, Texas. Number 9. Black Holes the existence of black holes is one of the greatest yet unexplained wonders of our universe, the first picture of a black hole only having been taken back in 2019. So how are they evidence of parallel universes? Well, let's get into some science here. Black holes are so hard to study because everything we've sent out there to try and get information is never seen again, people assuming that it's destroyed upon entering the hole. But Stephen Hawking said that whatever enters a black hole does come out, but it comes out in another universe. Because of the law of conservation of mass, even if something is destroyed, evidence of its presence would still be able to be seen. They would be visible in hair-like images that trace its path into the black hole. But Stephen Hawking noticed that evidence showed these hairs were not present, meaning the item has completely disappeared from our universe. And I'm really hoping this is making sense. Stephen Hawking says that this is good evidence that they have been transported to another universe, saying, Black holes are not the eternal prisons that we once thought. Number 8. Cloud City In October of 2015, Chinese citizens were shocked by what appeared to be a floating city within the sky. Multiple people taking photos and videos of the cityscape that seemed to loom above them within the clouds. The shape was far too specific to brush it off as being anything man-made, and looked to clearly be a cloud city. People were left wondering what it could be, and theories popped up of parallel universes or even even secret holographic technology. There was no time to answer these questions or speculate if it had even happened at all as the exact same thing took place again in China in March of the following year. More photos and videos popping up again of the incident. Many people believe that this supposed city in the sky is evidence of another universe crossing over into our own. Feel free to take a look at the pictures for yourself and make your own decision. Number 7. Deja Vu Have you ever been walking down the street and gotten the sudden feeling like you'd done that before even though you haven't? This is a phenomenon that is known as deja vu or already seen. As of yet, there is no real scientific explanation for why people all over the world experience these feelings. And there are theories that range from memory problems to glitches in the matrix. People who believe that deja vu is evidence of parallel universes describe it like this. Think of a radio where you can only hear one frequency at a time. The parallel universes beside us are at different frequencies, however it's possible that for one small moment, the universes might vibrate at the same frequency and become in sync. Since parallel universes are all supposedly just slightly different, when these in sync moments happen and you believe that you've already had this conversation before, it's possible that you feel that way because you did, just in a parallel universe. Number six, the double slit experiment. Okay, this one is very sciencey, so bear with me. The double slit experiment was performed in the 1920s and seemed to offer convincing evidence 
evidence of potential multiple parallel realities. The theory proposes that if tennis balls were fired at a wall through a single slit, then the marks on the wall would line up with the slit. So if you created two slits, it would create two lines on the wall. And if you fired waves through the wall, they would go through the splits, but still continue to spread out and leave multiple lines on the wall. And electrons should theoretically act in the same way that tennis balls do, but they didn't. They also made multiple lines as though they had been interacting with each other in the way that the waves did. But even when fired one at a time, it still made two sets of waves. For this to happen, it would mean that each electron somehow managed to travel through both slits. When they tried to film the electrons, they instead went back to just forming two lines like tennis balls. So this suggests that while parallel universes may be interacting with our own, we just don't have the technology to see it. Number five, the blue rock. All right, after that, let's go to something way more simple. In fact, let's go to something as simple as a rock. In 1990 in Sierra Leone, West Africa, an archeologist found a puzzling bright blue stone. When it was sent for studies, it was found that it was not similar to anything that could be found on Earth. And it was determined that it was not from this planet at all. One person who once held the stone said, it was perplexing and I had no idea what I was looking at. And I had no point of reference to compare it to anything else I had previously seen or handled before. Parts of this stone have come into the possession of many collectors over the years, and it is incredibly highly valued, likely because many people believe that similarly to the London Hammer, this is an artifact that has traveled to our own Earth from a parallel universe. Number four, the Mandela Effect. The term the Mandela Effect first came around in 2009, when a woman named Fiona realized that she and many others shared a false memory of Nelson Mandela having died in prison, when in reality he was still alive. She created a website to explain her observance of this phenomenon, shocked by just how many people all over the globe could possibly share this false memory. Over the years, many people have come together to share different examples of this Mandela effect. Some of the most famous ones being the spelling of the Bernstein Bears title, Darth Vader saying, Luke, I am your father, instead of, no, I am your father, and Curious George having a tail. Many people believe that a possible explanation for this is that the false memories are correct, but they're correct in a parallel universe, the memories bleeding over into our own world, as how else could so many people share this same fake memory? Number three, the cold spot. All right, back to science once again. When the Big Bang created our universe, the wavelengths of light expanded, changing the color and temperature of the universe to what we now perceive as black, creating the cosmic microwave background which maps the creation of our universe according to the Big Bang. While scientists were studying this background, they discovered what they refer to as the cold spot, being the size of 1.8 billion light years. While also being colder, it apparently also contains 20% less matter than it should. So how could they possibly explain the existence of this cold spot and why it is the way that it is? Well, experts believe that this is evidence of a parallel universe having crashed into ours through quantum entanglement, impact forcing energy out of the area and leaving behind the cold spot. Number two, the Hadron Collider. Researchers at the Super Collider in Switzerland started researching in 2015, hoping to find evidence of alternate universes. They have done various different tests trying to find these parallel universes that would not exist in the visible three dimensions of our own universe, but instead be made up of dimensions that we cannot perceive. One scientist theorized that the Hadron Collider could reveal particles that could only exist in these other dimensions, and being able to see them would give us almost undeniable evidence of the existence of parallel universes in line with our own. She said that these particles would have the exact same properties of particles in our own universe, but would have greater mass. All of this is still theoretical right now, but plenty of theoretical things from the past have been discovered and made reality, so it may not be long. Number one, the Towered Traveler. In 1954, a European plane landed in Tokyo. On the plane was a man who spoke several different languages, and he told the people there that he was visiting on business. He then gave them his passport, which said that he was coming from a place called Towred. If you've never heard of this country, then don't worry, you're not alone. That's because it doesn't actually exist, and it's a 
a fictional country that is in between the borders of France and Spain. The man's passport was visa stamped and he even provided a bank statement from the Tau Red Bank. His documents were taken and held in airport security while the man was left in a guarded hotel room waiting for police to arrive. But when they got there, the man was gone. People believe that this man was a visitor from a parallel universe where European history was different and led to the creation of the country of Taurus.